Hey, how's it going today? I thought I would shoot this video because I just had a conversation with a fantastic teammate and we were having a conversation and this is what sparked me doing this video. So how would it feel to be attracting true business builders to you? You know, those people who come to you and you're like, oh my God, come in and build your empire alongside me, right? When you're having a conversation with somebody and you know that they have it in them to kick butt, they, you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt that they have what it takes. They've got the drive. They've got the why they want it bad. And you know, they're going to kick butt. How would it feel to be attracting those kinds of people to you as opposed to, you know, the people who you kind of know are going to just sit there and do nothing and never really take off, right? There's a big difference. So the truth is to build a really successful, profitable, you know, business in network marketing, you can make a lot of money from, you know, working with fewer people as opposed to bringing in thousands and thousands of people who are going to pay their fee, come on in and do nothing right? I would rather have 10 really strong business builders than a thousand people who are sitting around doing nothing, just kind of, you know, watching, hoping that everyone else's success wears off on them. Uh, that ain't going to happen. That ain't going to happen. So, hey, Angela, how's it going? Hey, Clarence. Hey, Lisa. So how do you attract true business builders to you? Okay, you've got to understand that like attracts like. So when you are seen as a true business builder, a successful entrepreneur, you're going to attract those people. So moral of the story here, if you are marketing like an amateur, you are only going to attract amateurs. OK, you cannot market as an amateur and, and attract these leaders who are going to want to jump on board with you and kick ass because guess what those people aren't going to join you when they see you in that light okay so that simply means it all that means is you need to work hard learn the right way to market be seen as a successful professional marketer because you will become one if you learn the right way to do it and then you will start attracting true business builders. Does it happen overnight? No, it does not, right? It's a process to learn how to do this. But I promise you it is worth it. When I came into the industry and I had absolutely no, no results, no success, didn't know what I was doing, I wasn't attracting leaders to me who wanted to work with me, right? It doesn't work that way, right? So I worked on myself. And I worked on my skill sets and I worked my ass off to get results that I could share with my audience. I really, really grew my skill sets, right? So that I could teach this to my, you know, in the beginning, a slower growing team. But then as everyone started to get results and such, I could then market that fact as well, that this is what I teach my team to do. I've mastered this. So this is what I now teach my team to do so that they have success, right? As I grew my own value, right? As I grew as a leader and a person, I started to attract, you know, higher quality, you know, people who wanted it bad enough. You attract business builders. I don't know how else to say it. True business builders who really, really want to grow their business, make money, that really want to build an empire alongside you instead of a whole bunch of people who get in and then do nothing. You're always going to have a few people who come in with you and do nothing. <laughs> that's just the way it is. And that's okay. Not everybody wants to make a million bucks a year and that is okay, right? You're going to have people on your team who are perfectly happy making three, four or $500 a month. That is fantastic. That is absolutely wonderful right? But you want to be able to kind of differentiate between the people who want it bad, because those are the people who should get more of your time. It's only fair, right? Those are the people you run with. You run with the runners, okay? I'm not saying you ignore everybody else, but you run with the runners, 
Okay. And this, you know, in this conversation I was having with my gal tequila, it came down to, you know, we're talking about it very much comes down to posture, right? When you have an enormous amount of self-confidence and posture and you are so sure that you are going to the top in no matter what you are doing, you can't help but emanate that to your audience, to the prospect, to the person you're speaking to. When you are so sure, you can't help but emanate that. And your prospects, the people you are speaking to, they pick up on that. So if you are showing any kind of a lack of confidence or posture, your prospects will see you as an amateur and they're going to look for a leader to join, okay? That's just the reality. Does not mean you should, you know, give up on yourself by any means. It means you want to grow as a person and as a leader as fast as you possibly can. It means working on yourself, upping your leadership skills, upping your personal val uh, value, learning a whole bunch of stuff so that you have more to give to your team. That is going to attract better prospects to you. I don't mean better human beings. I mean people who are going to really work it hard with you. Does that make sense? Tell me if I'm making any sense there, Angela. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the thing. If you're, yeah, exactly. If you go through a slump, your team will do what you do. You lead by example. And this is another thing of, you know, how to attract true business builders to you. You're leading by example. If you're doing things that they want to accomplish, you're going to attract them to you. If you're doing things, that they don't want any part of, meaning like you're spamming or you're not growing your business or you're not making any money, they don't want to be a part of that, right? They want to be a part of with the team that is kicking ass, who's getting the training and the support and all that, right? So you do whatever it takes to get all that in motion, means working on yourself, means absolutely working on yourself. You get all that stuff in motion, you are going to naturally start to radiate a whole bunch of more confidence and posture, and you're going to attract those people. Those are the people you really, really want to have on your team, right? And then you get to run hard with those people. You want to kind of find out who the runners are and who are the people who are really quite happy, you know, just sitting on the sideline watching or doing just a little bit to make a little bit of money, right? You can only encourage and inspire somebody so far motivation comes within it comes from within okay you really can't you can encourage somebody or inspire them to take more action but you can't completely motivate somebody else because that comes from within them so therefore you can only do so much for a person right there comes a point in time when you've got to give more of yourself to the ones who want it bad. And it's only fair, right? I mean, come on. You can't be giving your time to somebody who thought they wanted it really bad because you're going to get conflicting information from people. When I ask people before they come on board with me how serious they are, like, why do they want this? How much do you want to be making? Are we talking like a couple hundred bucks? Or are we talking 40,000 a month, right? I mean, you want to know where they are at and what they want. And you know, it's a really good way to find out. Listen, you got to use your intuition and get a feel for the person. Also, here's another one. You know, one of the things I really go by when I'm speaking to a prospect is the questions they ask. Sometimes you're talking to somebody and they're asking really good questions, really good, smart questions. And you go, oh, this person's going to go far. And then you get people who, um, you know, are asking questions and or they're asking the same questions over and over and over again. And I honestly go by the questions they are asking you. It's a very good indication how serious they are. It tells you where their mindset is and it can save you a lot of time and a lot of energy when you bring somebody on board. So I basically here's what you can do when you're talking to somebody and they are can they're wanting to join your team and you're considering if you're going to, you know, allow them on your team and, and work with them, you want to a find out how serious they are, 
find out their why, because if their why isn't strong enough, they just might quit on themselves very, very quickly. Uh, you want to find out, you know, how much money they're looking to make, because again, that gives you an indication on possibly how hard they're willing to work. And then you want to get real with them, because what you'll find is a lot of people will say, you know, oh, I want $25,000 a month within three months kind of thing. And you are doing this person a disservice if you go, that's totally going to happen. No problem. You can do that in half an hour a day, right? You've got to be real with people because if they don't hit their expectations, they might take off. So you want to be a good person and make sure their, their expectations are, you know, are even obtainable. You want to make sure their expectations are in alignment with the amount of time and effort they are willing to put in. Because if they're only willing to put in an hour a day, yet they want $25,000 a month, two months from now, there's something out of alignment there and they will quit when they don't hit that, that uh, you know, that, that the money they want to be making. So you want to be real with them. You're really doing them a disservice and yourself because they're going to quit, but you're really doing them a disservice if you allow them to have unrealistic you know, unrealistic goals here, right? So anyway, attracting true business builders to you means you need to, you need to be a pro. Pros attract pros. Leaders attract leaders. Do you know any really, really big leaders that go and join, um, you know, an amateur? Doesn't happen, unfortunately, right? So everybody starts out as an amateur. Everybody starts out as an amateur. That's, it, you know, where else are you going to start out at, right? Everyone starts out at zero. But what I'm saying is you want to do what you need to do as fast as possible. So you want to, you know, work on yourself, work on your leadership skills, work on your skill sets, become a better marketer as fast as you possibly can so that you attract really good quality prospects, build, build, business builders to you as fast as possible and that's how your business is going to take off as fast as possible because if you stay in the amateur lane you know for too long you're slowing down the growth of your business yes we all start off as amateurs but some people remain as amateurs longer than others right the people who are only amateurs for a short amount of time they put in a lot of effort a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, some money, most definitely, into growing themselves and their skill sets. You need to look at this as a, as a profession. If you want to be paid like it's a profession, you've got to treat this like a profession, right? This is If you treat this like a hobby, it's going to pay you like a hobby, and people are going to see you as a hobbyist. And anyone who wants to crush it in this industry and be making really, really good money is not going to join a hobbyist. They're just not. So if you're sitting around thinking you can treat your business as a hobby and just spam all day long and then attract these people who are going to come onto your team and help you make a million dollars a year, it's not going to happen. I don't know a single person that has ever happened to, but I do know a lot of leaders who bring really, really good quality people onto their team and they kick ass, right? So I've gone through this process. This is why I'm sharing this. I've gone through this process. I started at ground zero only three years ago, but I worked my ass off. So I'm now in a position where I attract the most amazing people onto my team. I'm attracting people who want to work with me because they've seen what I've been able to accomplish and they want to be a part of that. They want that for themselves. They know I can show them how to make that happen for them right? So you, you're going to attract people who want what, you, what, what you've been able to create. So you create it, you get that ball rolling, creating your own empire, and you're going to start to attract other people who want their own empire, not just a hobby. Does that make sense? I hope this makes sense. Because I'm telling you, this is the, this is, you, you've got to do it this way. You got to, you know, stay in your amateur lane, while while you're new but you know what i mean there's some people who come in this industry and they are no longer a newbie after two weeks then you've got some people who have been in for 25 years and they're still a newbie 
because they never really learned the right way to market effectively. So they still don't get the results, even though they've put in years of effort, right? But if you're putting, you know, if you're learning the right things to do, you can, you can become a pro very, very quickly. It depends on the effort you're willing to put in, right? So everybody has a de de different degree of how bad they want success. I'm not saying everybody needs to, you know, make a million bucks a year. That's an, that's an individual thing. But you do want to be giving your time to people on your team who, who are working it, who want it bad, right? So anyway, I'm going to do another. Oh, I, I've just got another video idea I need to do. Uh, oh, my gosh. What, I'm hosting a podcast tomorrow morning, by the way. What am I even doing it on again? It was, it was congruent with this video, too. Um, oh, I can't remember. I will drop it, the invitation for the podcast I'm hosting tomorrow morning in the comments below, and you can check out if it's a subject that you would like to learn about. What am I? Oh, what I'm going to be talking about is how to get results in your business really fast, really fast. When you are new, you need to get results in your business really, really fast. That's what I'm going to be talking about on the podcast tomorrow morning. So it got ties in for to what I'm talking about right now, getting those results, right? So that you do start attracting tr people who want the same kind of results and more, right? So you've got to get those results happening in your business and it creates a snowball effect. Oh my God, that's how you get momentum going. If you don't have any momentum happening in your business, it'll never move forward. You'll never make any more money than you are right now, right? It's all about creating momentum. So that's what I'll be talking about on the morning podcast tomorrow morning. I will drop the invitation in the comments here. Anyway, that is it for me. Had to share that. Had such an awesome conversation with my gal Tequila today. So it kind of came up where we we're talking about just who it is, right? Who are the business builders that you want to attract? Again, I go by the questions. You know, there's a bunch of things I go by. I will do another video on that, on how I decide if I if, if I want to work with somebody or not. Um, you know, it's the questions and a bunch of other things that I'll go over in my next, my next video. But um, anyway, hope that helps you out. That's just kind of a dose of reality. I know a lot of times you hear things in this industry that just, you know, oh, come in with me and work 45 minutes a day and you're going to make $10,000 a month next starting next month, right? It just doesn't happen. We're doing people a disservice when we lie to them, right? So I'm all about truth. I worked my ass off in this industry. I mean, I've only been in for three years. Uh, it, it's just been three years, but I've worked my ass off. I did it wrong and I did it right. So I've learned quickly what works and what doesn't. Right. So now I'm in a position where I get to teach my team exactly what works. Right. So that they just do that. Tomorrow's my anniversary with my network marketing company. It'll be my year anniversary with this company that I absolutely love. And I am going hard. My team. I, my God, I'm so proud of my team. They're absolutely freaking exploding. This team is just going mental. I am so thrilled to be part of a team again. I wasn't part of a team for probably close to a year. I've never thought I would have a network marketing company again. I thought I was done with MLM. But what I found is something that isn't traditional MLM, because I'll never do that again. It's something a little bit different, something way, way better that it excites, excites the hell out of me. So I'm absolutely thrilled that I was very much encouraged to have a look at what I'm currently doing. I thank the couple people who kept at me until I gave in and had a look because, oh my God, life is sweet. Life is sweet. Anyway, if you want to know what I'm up to, what my team is doing, we are doing an amazing incentive right now as well, which everyone is just crushing it. It's going to be going to watch a whole bunch of rank advancements on this team happening this month. So anyway, if you have any questions for me, if you're struggling, if you want to know what I'm currently up to, see how I can help you, just let me know, okay? I'm always happy to help. Okay. Bye guys. I'll either see you maybe on the podcast tomorrow or I'll do a video tomorrow. I will be around. Bye guys. Have an amazing day.